Hey up, and welcome to my latest blog. I say latest, there might be one after this, there might be many after this, I don't know. Firstly, I'm going to point out this eye here. It looks like I've been punched, and I haven't. I got a spot there the other day, and it seems to it went really big and then gone back down, so it's bruised, so I look tough and hard for once. Well, that's really never going to happen. So, today's blog is going to talk about the news. I just find it fascinating that um, how the news works, that it's been kind of like tattooed in our nation's soul to watch the news all day every day and know exactly what's going on. And I find it a little bit fascinating that we choose to put ourselves through that. We choose to watch such negativity over and over and over and over again and feed our minds with that. Now you could say, oh, I'm being, I'm being, you know, I'm just being informed. You need to be informed what's going on. Absolutely right. But there's, there's a difference between being informed and being inundated. And, and and that's what a lot of people do. I know colleagues, I, I hear the phones beep and it's BBC News Update or Sky News Update or their phone provider's news update. And a lot of times, 99% of the time, it's negative. But let's be realistic here. And by that, I mean, honestly, let's look at what goes on in the world and how the media and the news works. If you think about it, the world as a beautiful field. So in this beautiful field, you've got flowers, you've got trees, you've got animals playing about. And there's a little pile of dog poo in the corner. The news goes, dun, 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 zooms in at this dog poo and goes, hey, breaking news, here's some dog poo. Let's talk about this dog poo, dog poo, dog poo. And everyone's, oh my God, there's dog poo everywhere. And there isn't really, it's just that little part of the field really over there that's got a bit of dog poo in it. And then people go, yeah, but you, you're not, you, know, you don't really care. You know, you're just putting your head in the sand. And I'm like, hmm. Am I, am I really putting my head in the sand by not watching the news all day every day? Or are you getting that dog poo and going... <laughs> and then the next day when the news kind of repeats what it did the day before and four days later, I'm like, that's just getting the, the same dog poo going, <laughs> still smells. You get the gist. Really, if we look out there in the world, there's a lot more good people than bad, right? There's a lot more good things going on than bad. Just that good news doesn't make news. There are some brilliant websites. Positivenews.org is one. Sunny Skies, with a Z, is another. Loads of people that are celebrating the, the good in people. And there is a lot more good than bad. Just walk down the street. Apart from the odd person, most people are with people they want to be with. Look in restaurants. Look in social events. People are there and they want to be together. They want to kind of help each other. They want to care for each other. Maybe some people go around it different ways. Maybe you agree with them, maybe you're not. But it doesn't matter. The principle is there. There's a lot more good than bad. There's a lot more good things going on and good people than bad. If you watch the news only, you wouldn't believe that. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, this, 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 this. And then there may be some stats you could chuck my way saying, yeah, this has gone slightly worse. But so many things have gone better. A lot more diseases have gone. We've got a lot more communication. Um, there's so many things going on that are better. So all I'm saying, and I'm not judging if you do fancy watching it, is going, why are you feeding yourself? You're not being educated. You're not being, by educated, you mean I'm not like every time you tune in. You're being inundated by negativity, and look how it feels. Now you could say, "I'm just, I'm just kind of putting my head in the sand and ignoring it." I know what goes on, and from some of those negative things, some amazingly positive things have come. So I'm not saying don't watch the news. I'm not saying there isn't a place and purpose for big events and big news stories. But take a step back and go, "Do I need to hear about this all day, every day? What about just in the morning, or just in the evening, or just have like a 15-minute glance at the news going on?" Because let's be honest. You hear about it anyway. You hear people talk about it. You, you see news flashes on the you know, channels as you walk past certain shops. So all I'm saying is take a step back and think, do I need to continually watch this negativity? And this is actually a burning kind of question to ask your life. What negative things am I feeding myself? By that I mean newspaper articles, TV shows. I'm not judging, I've said this before, anything you do. But if you watch a film that makes you go or TV shows that make you go inside, now you could say, we need to be seen, but if we're not doing anything about it, then why are we watching them? And you could say some good things happen from these things. You could say people raise money and collect money and do some good things from these negative events, 100%. But if you think about it as well, look at the negative events that go on around the world and look how many positive things come from them when communities come together. I remember watching a clip of... I think DIY SOS is a TV show on BBC One in England. And I'm sure it was in Yorkshire after the Yorkshire floods, floods in the year 2000 and something. And they said, they weren't glad it happened in one way, but they were glad because it brought the community back together. Because sometimes disasters bring the communities back together. And, you know, now the commu community is closer than ever. So there are some great things that happen. And that gives me faith. When I look at disasters around the world and things going on, there's normally some really good people 
that come out of it. The news is meant to be negative to get your attention. Imagine tuning into the news and they went, hey, today everything is good. You'd be like, oh, is that it? <laughs> it wouldn't sell. And you know yourself, the newspapers, the past five, ten years, have gone so sensationalised with the headlines. Kill a storm! And you're like, mm, it's just a bit windy outside, actually. <laughs> it's the point you get immune to it. So it's not judging people that read newspapers. It's not judging people that watch TV news. All I'm saying is, do you need to watch it on repeat and ask how it makes you feel? Because this is what we're feeding ourselves. You wouldn't feed yourself crappy food. So why would we feed ourselves crappy energy? I get it. I know people are screaming at me going, you've got to be, you know, you've got to be in the know what's going on. Yeah, but even then, certain things that are in the news shouldn't be in the news and certain things that aren't in the news should be. I don't need to go on a rant about it because no, it achieves nothing. We, the collective, have got to take the responsibility to go, actually, I'm not going to watch this or all day, every day. I'll give myself 10 minutes at lunch to catch up what's going on. Then I'm gonna put my focus in other things. Put your focus into listening to beautiful music. Put your focus into celebrating what's good. Put your focus into Googling positive news stories. Um, put your focus into watching TV shows that inspire you to do something else. Put your focus into your hobbies, the things you enjoy, your personal life, your friends, your family, and stop watching the news as much. Be informed, get the information, and then switch the bugger off. Deal? All right, I still love you, whether you watch the news or not, but you know, switch off. Watch me instead. <laughs> if not, someone else better. Right, love you all. Bye.